Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here, welcome to the channel, my place on the interwebs for a little bit of WordPress and got a fix for something that you may have come across with the wonderful query loop and I know it's got its kind of shortcomings but it's pretty pretty useful um, and I use it a lot, a hell of a lot and I've got a stonking couple of vids coming up especially on that but I just wanted to throw this quick fix in for you if you have been putting together a grid of posts and you wanted to create a background and you will notice immediately that the columns are not indeed the same size it's just the way that the CSS is rendered in in the back end they kind of technically are but anyway that's that's a it's a boring story. So here's a quick fix if you want equal height columns for your query loop. Let me show you what I mean. Right, so got a 2024 fresh install pretty much. Uh, nothing going on. Let's go to our pages. So we'll add a new page and we'll not going to be using a pattern in this example. We're going to be starting from scratch calling this equal height columns. Now in here, we're going to put a group and its content will also be wide width as well. Right, here's our little toolbar here. I'm just going to pop that on the top because so it doesn't get in the way. Right, in our group, we're going to add a query loop. We're going to start blank, image date, time, image date and title. Okay, let's get our list view open. Uh, on our query loop, we're going to have six showing. So we've got a nice little grid action going. And on our post template, we're going to change it from list view to grid view. And there's our nice little grids. When you edit the first one, the, the post template. Now, when you edit the post template, you can do all sorts of normal stuff like put a background on it, a green background. Mm, okay, that's not looking like it sh it's going to make any sense. Let's get the block spacing. Well, no, it's actually put a background on the entire thing, which is pretty rubbish. It's not what we want. So let's get rid of that, clear that down. So let's fix this immediately. So we're going to take all the stuff, select all the stuff in our, within our template, and we're going to use the ellipse three dots down, and we're going to group that. And now we can put a background on the group. Let's get that background on the group. Yeah, but we still have the same problem. Um, we've got certainly got like the the background in the right place, but they're not equal height. Super simple. Down to min height. Change that to percentage, one hundred percent, and shazam, we have got our equal height columns. Now, obviously, we would do a little tweaking of the styles and all that. Border radius. Put the bottom at zero overrides the theme. On the group itself, we add our border radius of 20 overall. That's looking a bit better. Now we've got the featured image, which is doing its thing. If we just group these two together and let's change the spacing to nothing, but let's have a little left and a little top and bottom. Looking pretty cool. I think you could probably see where we're going with this, but essentially we would muck about until we're happy with how it looks. Publish that up and copy that. Let's go have a look at the front end. And we do indeed have our equal height columns, although you can't really tell on that view. Let's go and into Firefox device view. We can just make that a little bit bigger. And there we can see that our columns are actually equal height, which is rather lovely. Equal height columns done. There's tons more tweaks and tricks needed for block theming. And if you want another one, here's another quick tip for your block theming. But until next time, I shall see you later.